Hey everybody, here's my pool spa combo. And I was new to pool ownership uh, when I bought this house and I really didn't understand the valve setup. So I'm gonna cover what I've learned and hopefully it'll help speed things up for you. Uh, but first, let's take a look at this side of what's going on so you can see what I have here and see if it lines up with your system. So here's the spa part. Uh, of course, and we'll talk about, and actually, you know what, it'll help to cover what some of these components are. So here, of course, are the returns where the water comes in to the spa. And that on the bottom is the drain part where the water is pulled in. Uh, knowing what those pieces are and why they're there and what they do is an important piece of understanding the system when we start looking at the other side. Likewise, the pool also has drains on the bottom and then you have here your skimmer part which is you know everybody's sort of aware of what that is that collects all your junk so it looks like that on that side right where the water's coming in so that's in water in drains on the bottom is also water in and i happen to have one of these auto cleaning ports here this is also water in and then these our water out this comes pushes water into the pool okay that's the first step in really understanding the system and the valves so let's go take a quick look at the valve side and that will bring things together for you so over here uh, here's what the system looks like and we'll take a look at some of these components too hopefully it's not too noisy with the pool pump on this is a slightly old gas heater for heating the spa. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, filter, obviously. Pool pump. This is an aerator for pushing air bubbles into the spa. It's the filter, of course, and you can see I've got a leak here. I'm gonna make another video on fixing this. Uh, and then this is the control system. Okay, so, but the important part is this and what's going on here. So, when looking at this, you want to understand a couple of things. Back when we were looking at the pool, we were talking about water coming in and water going out. And this is what you really want to understand. And I had to label these with a Sharpie because all of my stickers were starting to come off. But... It's easy to start if you're trying to understand a new system that you um, haven't seen before. It's easy to start by looking at the start of the pump and kind of look at what's what's coming in to the pump, right? Uh, and you'll you'll sort of know what side that is because it has this little catch here. This is water coming in from the pump. Okay, so what's coming in from the pump? I've got my spa drain. That's the vacuum port where the uh, pool vacuum was pulling in. This is the main drains on the pool. These are the main drains on the bottom of the spa. You know, those circular white drains that are on the bottom. So that's the main drain on the bottom of the spa, main drain on the bottom of the pool, and the skimmer. Uh, and these are very common jandy levers where you can turn these things on and off. So the interesting thing is where this is pointing is what's open. Where the wide part is, is what's closed off. And you can see it says off right on there. Uh, and this is where it's open. All right, so this is off. You can see this one's partially closed. So it's probably like that. It's letting some suction in you can see my spa is closed all right so no water is being pulled in from the spa drain water is being pulled in from the skimmer not from the drain on the bottom of the pool either and it's being pulled in from the vacuum all right so where where is my water coming in water is coming in from the skimmer water is coming in from the vacuum cleaner and that's it why? Okay, I'll tell you why. Uh, 
because it's in sort of a clean mode where it's um, doing some automated cleaning. And I'll, I'll kind of talk about that in a minute. But this is what the setup looks like on the intake side right now when it's in just regular automated clean mode, right? The vacuum cleaner is taking care of all of the debris from the bottom of the pool. The skimmer is taking all of the debris from the top of the water. And it's bringing that in. It's sucking that in uh, from all the filters into this filter. Comes in through here comes into these four piece filters here and now we'll look at the output side <clears throat> the output side comes out of here goes into the heater now the heater is not on right now uh, comes in through the heater circulates in through the heater and comes back to the pool and the spa so the water coming back right now you can see they're both they're both turned on water is coming in going to both the pool and the spa. Now what that mode gives us when they're set up like that, so the intake side, very important, and then the return side, very important, right? Uh, or suction side and return side, depending on how you like to call it. So that's important because that's how you can control various valves. So you gotta get a basic understanding of water coming in, water going out, and then how you'll want to manipulate these valves to get the effect you want in your pool. So for example, if I wanted to turn off my cleaner, this is loose, these tighten down to make it so that these don't move, but mine are pretty loose already. If I wanted to turn off my cleaner, I turn off the cleaner and now water is just coming in from the skimmer only, right? My main drains are turned off on the bottom. My main drain is turned off on the spa. My cleaner is now turned off, so I've only got water coming in from the skimmer, which is the top of the pool. If you want the vacuum to work, boop, let it out. And now the vacuum starts working. And the pool vacuum will do its, do its job. So that's essentially how these valves work. Like I said, right now this is set up for clean. It runs like this, I'll step away in case that's noisy. Uh, it's set up for cleaning right now. Uh, now what? Okay, this is great. So your pool is cleaning and that's fine. What if you wanted to run the spa, for example, heat that water up? Okay, now things get interesting. Uh, and you can see here, I have a diagram that might help this, might help explain some of this too. So, like we talked about, We've got water coming in from the skimmer, not from the drain, in from the cleaner, nothing coming in from the spa drains, into the suction, that comes through the pump, to the filters, through the heater, and comes back to the spa in the pool. Why does it come back in the spa? That's what creates this waterfall effect. Let me show you that real quick. So like we talked about, this main drain is not pulling any water in, but these returns are pushing water over the top. That pushes water through that space. Pushes the water over the top here. And all the surface debris and material get pulled in through the skimmer there, which is pulling water in. And then the vacuum is taking care of the things on the bottom as it's just kind of moving around and doing its thing. These main drains on the bottom are not bringing any water in. <clears throat> that's, that's how it's set up right now for, for clean mode. So all the return water is coming in at the top, pushing all surface debris to the skimmer, pushing surface debris here into the pool, which will then go into the skimmer and get collected. And then debris at the bottom of the pool, we'll get clean from the vacuum. Okay, that's how it's set up right now. That's the, that's the clean mode. If you wanted to use the spa, what you would want optimally to heat this water the fastest is water coming in from the main drain, uh, being, I'm sorry, pulled in, you know, pulled from the main drain 
through the filter, through the heater, and being returned by these valves here. So let's take a look at how to set that up. <clears throat> so what you would want <clears throat> is to open this, turn this all the way over so that this is off, right? You don't want any of this. You don't want the skimmer. You don't want your main drain from the pool. You don't want the vacuum. You want only water coming in from the spa. So you would turn this completely over. So off would be here. And the suction would only be spa drain, that white drain at the bottom. Likewise coming out. And actually, I'll just, let me stop this for a second. Let's stop that for you for a second. I can do, do it real time and I'll show you. So to put it into spa mode, you would turn this like this. And you would turn this like this. Now, what have I done? Water's only coming in from the main drains on the spa. Is there anything coming from here? All of this has now been turned off, right? Off. That means it looks like that. Only the water's coming in this way. Nothing from the vacuum, nothing from the main drain, nothing from the skimmer, because it's all sealed off. So I've only got my bottom ones. And anything coming from the pool? No. It also looks like this. Very simple, right? It's putting water back into the spa, taking water in from the spa. That's it. Two valve adjustments. And then you'd want to turn on your... Now I can just... All I have to do is just hit spa. My gas is already turned on. This has an automatic uh, spark built in, so I don't have to worry about spark. It'll just... If I just hit spa, poof, this will come on and heat the water. Uh, obviously, your pump has to be on because that's what controls movement of the water, obviously. Okay, so... You want to put it back to clean mode. Now, I didn't even touch these because I didn't have to, right? Uh, this is, I just shut all of this by turning this off here. Now you want to put it back. I what? I don't want water from my spa drain because I don't want water coming in from the bottom of either the spa or the pool. So I put this back to off. I put this back to return, because I want water coming back into both. Oops, that's crooked. There we go. And we'll fire this back up again. Here we go. I should show you, there's a whole couple of really nice tutorials about how to program this particular unit. Oh, that's just part of this Pentair pump. So let's do a quick review on my sheet here. What did I do for spa mode? I cut off the water here so that water's coming in from the spa, going through the filter, getting heated once you turn your heater on, coming back, not going to the pool, going only back into the spa. That will circulate just that water in the spa. Uh, and of course, if I wanted to turn this on, that's over here. Uh, I have my pool lights and the blower. I would just throw the breaker for my blower. All right. And then whatever other configuration you are looking to do, uh, once you have an understanding of water in and water out, you can just now. If your valves aren't labeled, like my, uh, you can see some of my, some of my pipes here were really coming apart. That one especially. Uh, I had to kind of experiment a little and just, you know, move one, see what it does, move one, see what it does. And then I just labeled it with a Sharpie. Uh, and if it starts to fade, I can just come back and, um, label it again. But, okay. That's really the basics of how to control these valves. Hopefully that helps somebody because it took me a while to learn that. Uh, but 
there we go. That's what it looks like in spa mode. You wanna stop that water here. That'll just turn all of this off by hitting this, by moving this to off. So you'll take it water in, bring it through the system, return water to the spa. Nice and simple. When you wanna make it clean mode, put it back for cleaning. You want water flowing back in both of those directions. You don't wanna use your main drains. You just wanna bring your skimmer water in, your cl automated cleaner water in if you have one. And that's it. Hope this was helpful.